Hello and welcome to eMultiSkills video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to move data directory on Postgres in Linux uh, 7.5. So these are the list of steps which we will be performing on a Postgres uh, 12 uh, database which is installed on Linux uh, 7.5. So uh, first of all, let's understand what is Postgres uh, data directory in, uh, in uh, Postgres 12 which is installed on a Linux environment. So all the data files related to the Postgres instance is stored in a location which is known as a data directory. And over a period of time, the, the storage allocated to that gets exhausted. And either you need to extend the storage or you need to move uh, the data files or all the files which are related to, uh, to the database to a new location. So in this demo, what we are going to do is uh, we are going to move all the data files to a new location. So the setup which I have is uh, having the OS 7.5. I do have the access of uh, root and Postgres OS user. The uh, Postgres instance which is installed is 12. So I have already logged into the uh, uh, to the instance uh, uh, to the server using the Movax term, which is a GUI tool. You can store the IP address, user ID, and password. You just click, and you will be able to log in. So I have already logged in with two terminals, one with root and another with Postgres. So let me uh, walk you through the steps which we are going to perform. In the first step, uh, we will uh, log into Postgres SQL like. Uh, sudo hyphen u postgres uh, psql and we will check uh, show data directory that will show us the current location as of now the current location is the default location which is slash var lib pgsql slash 12 slash data so in this demo we are going to move all the data files which are located on this current or default location to a new location which is postgres slash data so in the first step, we will identify the existing location and the new location. In second step, we will shut down the services using system CTL stop Postgres 12. In the third step, we will prepare a new file system. I'll change the ownership uh, of the new file system, which is Postgres slash 12 to Postgres colon Postgres and the ownership will be given 750. And uh, we will navigate to the existing data file location and copy everything to new location. In the step number four, we will update the configuration file. We will uh, edit the uh, postgresql.conf, which is located as slash where live pgsql slash 12 slash data postgresql.conf and we will update data directory location with new location, which is slash postgres slash data. In the step number five, we will start the Postgres and step number six, we will verify that the new location is updated or not. So let's start with the step number one. In the step number one, we are going to log in as a Postgres user. So I'm logged in as uh, root. So let me uh, say uh, sudo hyphen u Postgres psql. So I'm, I'm logged into Postgres command prompt. Now here you, you have to type show data underscore uh, directory. So this will display the uh, current location of the data directory. So this is the current location and uh, this is the same location uh, which, uh, which exists when you install the, uh, the new version of P, uh, PG SQL, Postgres SQL. Uh, this is the default location. So this has not been updated. So we are going to change this location to a new location. In the step number two, we will check the status of uh, Postgres. Uh, uh, let me log in. So you can see on this terminal, I'm logged in as Postgres. So, so you just need to say sudo systemctl status Postgres 12. So you can see that the status is running. What you need to do is you need to stop the service using sudo so I'm assuming we don't have uh, the root access, although I have shown the first step as root. In the second step, what we will say is uh, stop the service. sudo systemctl stop system uh, postgres 12. Check the status once again. The status is uh, inactive. It has been shut down. 
in the third step what we will do is we will give the ownership on new file system so uh, let me quit out of this and uh, I'm logged in as root so this these uh, should be done in advance so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to change uh, the the ownership of uh, Postgres slash data to Postgres colon Postgres and uh, the permission which we will be giving it to is uh, 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 logged in as Postgres we will change the permission as uh, chmode-r750 Postgres slash data so let me see if there is any data because I have done this demo earlier so I need to make sure there is nothing yeah so there is nothing in that in the third step uh, in the third step uh, we have uh, verified uh, the new location we changed the permissions accordingly now we will navigate to the old location or the existing locations which is uh, uh, which is uh, where live pg sql slash 12 slash data and we will copy everything from this location to postgres slash data so we'll say cp hyphen r star postgres slash data so this is very small so it is copied immediately let's uh, navigate to postgres slash data and say ls hyphen lrt so you can see that uh, the cop the files are copied to the new location now in the step number four uh, what we have to do is um, we will take a backup of a postgres uh, configuration file which is located at var live pgsql 12 slash data postgres sql.com so let's take a backup of the configuration file we have taken a backup now add it the postgres sql.com So you can see we are inside the Postgres configuration file and uh, what I need to do is I need to update the data directory with the new location. So just uncomment and give uh, uh, the new location. In our case it is Postgres slash data. So uh, I have already added that and uh, you just need to uncomment and uh, uh, save it. Uh, this is saved and in the next step what we are going to do is we are going to start the Postgres service I'll just start the Postgres service and one more thing you need to make sure that uh, you can uh, check the alert in case there is any issue so just tail hyphen 10 f slash where log messages so it, this will show if the system has come up uh, perfectly or not so it is saying started postgres sql 12 database server uh, check the status as well so it will say pseudo system ctl status postgres 12 you can see that a status is active and running so this is perfectly fine and the last step is we will log in to postgres command and uh, we'll say sudo hyphen u postgres psql and we are on the command prompt and here you just say show data directory and uh, you are done so our new location is updated postgres so now onwards whatever data comes into the database it will go to postgres slash data so we have successfully moved our data from existing location to new location so what you can do uh, you can leave it as it for some time and delete the uh, delete the uh, unwanted data later on but it is a very small amount of data so we can leave it leave it uh, like this uh, just to recap what we have done is uh, we checked the current location of uh, data directory then we stopped the postgres sql then uh, in the step three we moved all the content from existing to new location in the fourth step we updated the configuration file in fifth step we started the postgres sql and the sixth step we checked the new location and it was done properly 
I hope this is going to help and uh, stay tuned for uh, next tutorial. Thanks for watching this.